Welcome to our geodesic dome in the middle of the forest. We have lived here full time since we built it late last year and having gotten through a brutally cold winter and now one of the hottest summers on record, there are a lot of things that we would have done differently. Over the next few weeks, we're taking all of those lessons and putting them into action to reimagine how the dome is our home. Come along. So before we can get started on anything today, the very first thing that we needed to do was move everything that we own inside the dome, outside the dome. So hopefully it doesn't rain over the next couple days because we don't really have anywhere to store it. No backup plan for that one. No. And then we got started on putting together this scaffolding. So. The dome is 15 feet tall, and if you remember when we built the dome originally, we were kind of playing it fast and loose with a little bit of a janky scaffold, so. Yeah, it's a little bit more, I guess, safe. We're not very comfortable at height, so we just feel more comfortable with this one because it has the guardrail, and you can get through it without going around on the side. Yeah. So it should make it quicker and easier. I think it's gonna be, the hardest part is gonna be getting the old liner down. So this one went up in one piece, so then it has to come down in one piece. We're gonna be insulating the geodesic dome today and making it much more comfortable, not only for the winter. So if you see all the smoke damage here, that's because the cold of the exterior of the PVC of the dome mixing with the smoke and condensation created this nasty mess. We're gonna finish getting the scaffolding together and Start tackling this. It's liner. gonna be super easy. I got two knives and we're just gonna cut the ties and drop it. I think that'll work. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go over this way so we don't step on it and bend it. <laughs> Just like everything we own in the yard. <laughs> this is why we can't live in subdivisions. We would be those neighbors. We really would. Okay, so are we cutting it with scissors? Yes. Oh, I do not like height. How do I always get stuck up here? I can go. Oh, watch your head. I said you should have had a heart attack. I feel like I'm on an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Thanks, love. Oh, that is a big piece of fabric. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Look at Holy. that. Okay, I'm going back up. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> On today's episode of Bluing Tunes. <laughs> do you want to take a break? How do you feel? I feel very accomplished. Like, that went pretty smoothly, I think. Wouldn't have been able to do it without cutting. No, there's no way. It looks so good. All right, let's make some food. Okay. There is no fancy lunch here for us today. We are just doing some instant noodles quickly because that was a lot of work getting that down. I mean, it went a lot smoother Ooh. than... You okay? It's hot. <laughs> yeah, hot soup probably wasn't the best idea when we're in a dome that's like at least 35 degrees in there. It's so warm. Holy oh. smokes. So, it's but... It's gonna be really good to get the insulation up. Yeah, and it went a lot smoother than I thought it was. So, that's kind of motivating. Plus, so is living like this. It motivates us to get the work done so that we get back in there. Are you staring off into the distance trying to find a way to run? <laughs> oh my god. It's just always the most amount of work. Always. Some would say we do it to ourselves. Oh yeah. They would be right. So now that lunch is done, it is time to move on to the insulation. So the product that we're going with is Reflectix, which is like bubble wrap with foil around it. 
And the way that it works is it creates an air gap and it stops heat from going outside of the building as well as outside heat entering the building. So we're gonna weave it through on the outside of the bars next to the PVC liner. The reason for that is the new quilted liner that we have has this already sewn into the back. So those bars are going to give us an air gap which is going to just bump the insulating value of this through the roof. We should have done it, well not through the roof. We don't want it to go through the roof. And we don't technically have a roof. Like where does the wall end and the ceiling begin? Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, we should have put this insulation up in, from the very beginning. You can tell we got a little lazy, so <laughs> we literally put insulation right here and behind the kitchen. And we said that's good enough for him to go. We were like, this is a lot of work, so. <sighs> anyway, we're just gonna get right to it because there's no easy way to do this. There's no fun way to do this unless we just sing a song the whole time. That's you usually pretty fun. Yeah, we're just gonna get it done. You can't stop me now. You can't stop me now. Time I wait to the top and I never look down. Huge, like a huge difference. Do you find it feels cooler already? I find it feels warmer, but that's because we've been like rolling on this insulation. We're gonna roll. All right, so we got the border all around them. <sighs> Coming in round two? Yeah. We were thinking we were halfway down, but I don't think we are, because if you think about like how much there actually is, and like we have the advantage of not having to do this big window in the front. Yeah, I don't think we're half done. <laughs> wow. Very far from it. Oh well, we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fabulous. How are you feeling about it? Good, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> that's, the, that's the main thing I'm feeling, but it is gonna make such a huge difference. Oh yeah, I feel like we work in a coal mine now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the aluminum, so the aluminum tape as well as this seems to be rubbing off on our hands. It's kind of just like tin foil with sticky on the back. Do I have it on my face? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I do too, probably. No. Oh yeah, right up there, a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep going with this. And time for scaffolding. Time for scaffolding. <laughs> God, I wish Mel was here with the excavator to lift this all the way up for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and you, boo. <laughs> You can't stop me now You can't stop me now So it has been several hours of pulling this insulation through the bars and I would say we are successfully halfway done the <laughs> that liner but our brains are mush, our bodies are sore, so I think we're gonna call it here for the day because it's been a lot. Yeah, this is definitely more challenging than we thought that it was gonna be. You got smuts on your face. And we're just covered, so. Plus, we still need to get our home for the next couple nights figured out, yeah, so. We made the decision. It doesn't make sense to stay in here. It's just gonna be a mess, like. It's hard living in Renos. Yeah. And then we've got Charlie and Eddie and Lily, and that just adds more complications, so. Right now they're with Todd's parents, so shout out yeah. to Tim and Sue for babysitting for the day. So. Yeah, they love it down at Grandma Granddad. So right. anyway, we are gonna go set up our home. <laughs> so normally not being in the dome for a few nights really wouldn't have been a big deal at all because we would just would have stayed in the RV. On the really hot nights, normally we come down and stay in the RV anyway, but as you can probably see, it's not here. 
and that is because it's broken. It's really disappointing. The ceiling and the slide are both leaking. We've tried really everything that we can to repair it. You may remember when we did the RV renovation series, we had to replace that whole roof with insulation and all of that, and it didn't work. So, <laughs> we are setting up a tent instead. How do you feel about it here? Because I figured this way where it's yeah, like I the think... door is west facing, we'll get the most amount of natural light in the evenings when we're primarily gonna be in it. Todd's always planning ahead. Okay, let's set this up, I guess. Stake out the guy lines for each corner as you set each hole. So that's these. How's that? So what is it you're oh out this way? Yeah. What are the blueberries? Might have a late night snack. Need some more sweetening. <laughs> Still a little bitter. Unzip the door, lift up the ceiling and step inside. Wow, we can almost do cartwheels in here already. Whoa. This is perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking the bed should go here so that we wake up to the view of the pond. And then next you should take your shoes off because we're in a tent. Oh. <laughs> oh hold on. <laughs> Then, Continue. <laughs> I think we should put a couch there, a TV there, mini fridge with a microwave on top of it. We are not doing any of that. <laughs> Watch, we move into the tent full time. The tent boys. <laughs> Look at this view though of the pond. All right. Wow. He said boys and it made me miss the boys and oh, yeah. squirrel. So let's go see them. We're gonna bring them here. They're gonna spend the night with us. We can really just snuggle in and start watching some TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a shower first though. I feel disgusting. You look it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm so excited for tonight. It's gonna be awesome. I'm okay. excited. We're gonna go clean up and get the fur babies and catch up with you guys soon. Here you go, buddy. What do you guys think of their new home? Hey. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. <laughs> There's your spot down there. We got you both dog beds. That's okay, Eddie. I'll sleep down here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. You are so funny. Hey, what do you think? So normally we save Harry Potter movies for Christmas. It's kind of like a tradition that we have every Christmas Eve we watch Harry Potter, but we're gonna make an exception because this, this tent just like reminds us of it. So. Pulled it out of Hermione's purse. Yep. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tonight, hey buddy. Oh, you're my good boy. What do you think? Huh, are you excited to sleep in a tent? Huh, one tent to another. <laughs> it's a beautiful night. The moon, you can see it from here. It's just, it's beautiful, so. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm actually really excited for this because I feel like the summer's just been so busy that we're not gonna get out camping in the RV, so yeah. we're gonna get to experience camping in the yard. Hey, Eddie. Huh? All right, well, we're gonna let you guys go and enjoy our night, and we'll see you in the morning. Between the blow up mattress last night and having our hands above our heads doing all this insulation yesterday, we are definitely feeling. A little bit sore. Oh, just a little. But I think we're on the, I was gonna say the home stretch, but we're really just starting. I don't know, I'm trying to be optimistic today. We're up bright and early before the sun gets out because it's supposed to be like 34 degrees today. So we're trying to get as much done as we can. So I think we're just gonna pick up here at the stove because this is our hardest part. Yeah. So I feel if we get the hardest part, like around that pipe done early, then it's smooth sailing for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm sure none of you believe that. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna go with. So we're just gonna get get going on it. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's do it. Do you want me to get started on scenes? Sure. Or to take out and get rid of all this space. All this space. So I wanna try something. Bring the whole spool into the window, because for this section, instead of like pulling down and having squares, I want to try and pull up and see if it's any easier. And get rid of all this space, all this space, it's killing me. It's 
so difficult. We took a little bit of a break from construction on the dome, decided to come to the river, and we just found the most amazing spot. It's so cool. And it's honestly not that far, like maybe a five, 10 minute walk from where we normally swim. So we ended up setting up camp here. I mean, what's not to love? We've got three streams converging into this swimming area and then Number three, if you can see that, Todd decided to make, what did you call it? An off-grid? Plunge pool. An off-grid plunge pool. <laughs> I dug you a spot too, if you wanna come join. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come join you. I just wanted to update them on what we've been up to. <laughs> We're doing anything that we can to avoid continuing on with the geodesic dome. It's just, it's a hot day, so. We'll deal with it when it cools down this evening. Yeah, he said we'll deal with it when it cools down this evening, but until then, we're gonna enjoy this. <laughs> that was just such a great way to spend the afternoon. I'm really glad that we did that. I actually just went and picked up Charlie and Eddie from Todd's parents' house. Come on, we're going in, come on. Hey buddy. Todd has been here working on the seams, but Lily is still staying at Grandma and Granddad's and she's very much made herself at home. Todd's parents put up a, a hummingbird feeder and she's obsessed. Well, they put it right in the window and then she has a cat tower there that she sits on and it's right at eye level with it. She loves it. It's yeah. pretty cute. So we obviously are just continuing on with this. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the theme of the night. Yeah, we did quickly want to say though, if you're watching this and you're planning on building a geodesic dome at all in the future, make sure you do the insulation from the beginning. This is way more difficult yeah. because of us not doing it right from the beginning. And it made our winter much more difficult than it needed to be as well. So yeah. um, just yeah. do it right the first time. Don't cut the corners like we did. Yeah, but we are going to push through and finish this. Like when we go to bed tonight, we are gonna have all the insulation up so that tomorrow we can just put the finished liner up. That's the plan. <laughs> Good boy. What if I turned it all the way this way? Like if I spun this around, we should probably actually run a piece this way. All right, it is 11.35. We have just put the last piece of tape on the insulation liner, and we are ready for bed, I think. Nothing left to give, holy moly. Yeah, well, it does look good. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how it came together, but, um... Bedtime? Wow, yeah, bedtime. Oh, right. yeah. I want to get a good night's sleep so we can wake up and do the liner tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. All right, we'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm thinking we start up here and then spread out. Okay. What do you think? Sure. That sounds good. It's also numbered number one, so that probably means start at one. <laughs> it's like a freaking body bag. <laughs> more reflective. Oh, show more sunglasses.
Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to install a fan at the top of the dome. The reason for this is because last year we found that all of our heat was sitting up there, so by it's having- sitting up here right now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really hot at the top of the scaffolding. But what we hope the fan is gonna do is blow that hot air back down to the living area, and then also stop it from escaping through the big window up there, and just keep it more of a stable temperature in here for longer, so. You ready? Yeah, do you wanna slide me in place? Sure, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run an extension cord down along in between the two liners so that we can plug it into the floor and have control over it. So I'm gonna move Tyler. I think bring the fan up first. Plug it in, test it? Yeah. Okay, plug it Ooh. I can't even begin to explain the temperature difference in here. That fan has lowered it by at least 10 degrees, hey? Okay? Oh yeah, it's making a huge difference. Yeah, we're having very big regrets that we didn't do this when we originally built the dome. But yeah, like this, it's, I mean, everyone said it in the comments, if you have high ceilings, you need to have fans to circulate the air. But I just truly wasn't expecting this much of an impact. I don't know. I thought it was just a gimmick from the fan industry. <laughs> So we've been cruising along making really good progress and we just noticed it got really dark and we checked the weather map and even though there's not supposed to be rain, there's a massive red cloud coming in. Which means a yeah. lot of precipitation, so we're, we're just, just being a little safe and bringing everything under the gazebo. Um, I can run up and get the big brown tarp too and we can put it over. Sure, do you want to do that, that? Yeah, that might be faster. Okay. It's good all this stuff is here, because if it wasn't, I would totally start out on the floor and have a nap like this. It's so magical. It is. I wish we had a chair, <laughs> like our, to sprawl out on. Yeah. Well, we can kind of just like stretch out like this. Close our eyes and eat our chips. You can swirl dome as a footrest. <laughs> Perfect. So and chip. All right, well, that's what we're gonna do for a bit. <laughs> so this is the part that we've been in denial of having to do all day. We have to open up, I guess you can't really see it, but we have to open up the stove pipe so that we can get it into this opening here in the liner. So we're just a little nervous for it because we haven't cleaned our chimney since we stopped using it for the winter, so there's obviously some ash and stuff built up in there. We were planning on saving that for a fall project, but... Yeah, we're still saving cleaning it for a fall project, but we need to just split it a little bit now and then put it back together. Yeah, we'll just weave it through like the needle. Yeah, it's gonna be... We good. got it. Okay, let's do this. Mm, I, I think, think right here, here and push, push up, up and then I'll hold it. I'm gonna stand on the stove. Back flap, back flap, and then we'll continue all along. Do you want to um, slide me over so I can take that thing? Tell me they can see it. What's going on down here? Done? Almost. It's a lot. So we are in a little bit of a situation here right now. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, what else is new? We solve one problem and create 10 more. <laughs> That's pretty much the story of our life, so. <laughs> so we explained to you last week how the supplier of the dome was kind enough to entertain all of our wild ideas. So the insulated liner that we installed has never been sold before. It was manufactured specifically for this as sort of like a test where guinea pigs, I yeah. guess. Yeah, huge shout out to Donnie and Kenneth at Backcountry yeah. Recreation for dealing with all of our questions <laughs> and advice and still yeah. answering our calls when we call. <laughs> yeah, basically what has happened is now that the dome is super insulated, there is no ability for all of the heat that's coming through the skylight 
in the form of sunlight to escape. So the sunlight comes in, hits the walls, and then bounces around and just makes the dome literally like a pizza pocket. It is 40 (laughs) degrees inside the dome right now. It's insane. It's pretty warm. So anyway, I think we've come up with a cool solution that we're going to be able to, when we want to, block out that skylight, but we need to wait for that piece to be manufactured, and then they're going to airmail it to us as quickly as they can. Thank you guys, by the way, again, if you're watching this, like, it... It, this has been a trial and error thing. <laughs> We're figuring it out as we go, but it's really cool. Like the insulation is working. Yeah. It's just the skylight factor. It's a variable we didn't, we didn't think of. Think of yeah. So anyway, we have got a tent with an air mattress with our name on it. And, and a bottle of homemade wine. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> so until next week, um, have an awesome week and thanks for joining us. Hope well, you enjoyed it. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye guys.